Hi guys, my name is Darren and today I want to show you how easy it is to build a landing page which we are going to then put online. Okay, so this might be in a few parts. So the first part what I'm going to do is we're going to build the landing page and I'm using a software called Builderall which is really good. Okay, but there's no reason if you're using something else like GetResponse, uh, ClickFunnels, um, any of the freer ones the whole process that I'm doing will be very much the same. So what um, methods I show, you'll be able to use on all those other ones as well, okay? So this is just a, a, a little bit of, of a breakdown. So, you know, if you are sort of like starting and you want to know how to, then we can start from scratch and we can take it from there. So I'm going to scroll, bring, I'm going to bring the screen down and then we're going to crack on. Okay, so I've brought the screen down now, guys. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to jump straight into my builder role. I'm going to scroll down to here and I'm going to click enter. Now I'm in. I'm using the cheetah builder. Very quick. Uh, what's very good as well is the domains come up really, really quickly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create um, a new one completely. So if I, because I think it will be beneficial for you to do that okay so we're going to click on there i'm going to create with um a blank template so we're going to put a name so um if we want to let's see what we're going to create so let's go to clickbank let's click on clickbank and i'm just going to open up my clickbank account this is one that i use for demonstration purposes there we go And then what we need to do now is we need to jump over to Marketplace. And now what we want to do is we want to look for what niche we want to go for. So for arguments sake, we could do e-business and e-marketing. Um, we could do health and fitness, we could do well-being, self-help's pretty good, um, spiritual belief, software and services. Um, the three main ones to go for is e-business, e-marketing, health and fitness, and computers and internet would probably be a good one as well. But what we'll do is I'm going to go for this one here, e-business and e-marketing. And then what we want to do now, guys, is we want to set this bit here okay to gravity and we want to look at the gravity anything over 0 0.1 is good anything higher than that is exceptionally good okay so now if we look down on here we are looking for so we got stats average average bill gravity is 207 so this would be really good Perpetual income 365 blockbuster home business offer. This could work because it's 207. This one's here 200. This could work as well. Click wealth system. This one's not bad at 147. So anything with 0.1 really is good. So all these are starting to peer out a bit. We've got 112 one, there. So my advice to us is well, let's go for this one here. All right. So what we do basically, what's good about this? Because it's ClickBank, all we need to do is click on that link. And once you've signed up, you hit Generate Hop Link and you will get a link created, right? So I've now created that. And then what I tend to do, I like to go into my Documents folder, right mouse click, and we're going to create a text document. And I'm going to put um, what it is, Petrol 365 course because that's what it is okay so i'm going to hit on that and then i'm going to open that up and then i'm going to paste my affiliate link in there okay guys and i'm going to save it all right now what i would be inclined to do is you can use bitly copy i obviously are going to use my builder role because i've got builder role so i'm going to go to my builder role shortener okay i'm going to put that in there right mouse click and paste and then hit shorten url and it's going to appear very shortly. 
and a long number get shown. Let's have a look, see where that's gone. I may have to refresh that. Let's go back into, let's go to there. So I'm just going to go into my affiliate. There we go. And I'm just going to go into build our premium. Click on that. Right, okay, go into link generator, URL shortener. And then I'm going to put my link in there and I'm going to hit shorten. URL successful created. So if I now scroll through to number seven, you'll see that this ClickBank here, okay guys, this one here is the one which I've just produced. So I'm going to copy that and we're going to open this up now so we know exactly what it's going to look like. And it's telling us for some reason the same just disable strict blocking what's going on there Click bank, copy let's try that again it's interesting disable strict blocking for temporary oh yeah okay then so basically what that is is because it's it's being picked up on um on on a um antivirus and it's just checking to make sure that it's a genuine thing and because it's got a url it's looking at it and thinking oh you know it's 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 dodgy when it's not okay so basically it is perpetual income 365 create your perpetual income account enter your desired login details so you can see here straight away that what we're promoting um, is going to be putting in the first name and your best email address and then you click on claim and it's going to claim my spot now so this looks like it's a webinar okay which they're going to set you up for so if we click on this so you can see here straight away that there's something that's really eye-catching and it's going to obviously draw um, people into that if they're interested in that okay now remember the registration expires on the 2nd of October 2020 that will probably change so if we went on two days time you'll find it will be saying the fourth and you can see as soon as I went to click out it come up with wait 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 don't make a huge mistake and it's just telling us exactly what what we're looking at so this is what we're going to use okay so what I'm going to do now is we're going to go back to cheetah and we're going to create perpetual three six five and this is a um it's a marketing tool we'll call this okay okay we'll just shut that down for now and then we're going to hit a blank template and then what it's going to do is going to open it up and now i can edit all right now there are some other things that we can go into but we won't do that just yet i might do that on part two so we're just going to go straight into the edit and what it's going to do now, it's going to open up and it's going to allow us to edit and we're going to start to build our landing page. So this is exciting. So add a panel to start building. So we're going to click on add, click on panel and I can have a blank panel or I can choose one. I've got a bridge panel, blocks, call to action, business banner. I'm going to do a blank panel because I'm going to do it from scratch. So, because if you are using... Um, WordPress or you know um, or, or another form of a website then it's gonna be unfair if I'm using mine which you can't get access to okay so it says here hi I'm a text box double click here so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna double click on this I'm gonna change the text so how to ten times your income in 48 hours, whoops, hours on autopilot okay so we're going to do that now i'm going to break the rule by probably changing the color to red because they say that you shouldn't use things red because if you use red it's classed as danger but red does stand out okay so I'd be inclined to 
play around with that and do whatever you want to do. And then what you can do is you could 10 times, so you see this bit here, you can make that purple. And what that does, it just creates a little bit of an eye catching thing. And then we can just bring that down. Now, if I want to change more colors, I can go on here and then I can make it a bit lighter. And let's have a look. So what's that like? So the idea of that is that when you look at that, it's got how to 10 times. So that's sticking out. Your income in 48 hours on autopilot. But all of a sudden, your eye is being drawn to this because it's just a tiny fraction of a shade different. All right. So that's a little trick that you can do there which is going to create a little bit more of um, a caption. It's gonna, you're going to get more of a caption like that. Now, what we can do now is we can change the background. So if we click on this link here, okay, again, you're obviously going to have different software because I'm using a different software, but I know how to operate this software. So, you know, you're going to have to just muddle through that side of it. So I'm going to change my image, which is my background image. And I'm just going to... Let's try this, that looks quite good. So let's go for that. I'll click on that one there, save. Okay, so that just, just adds a little bit of a contrast, okay? And then I can bring this down a bit if I want to, like that. And then what I can do is, this is where it gets a bit clever now, guys, okay? So we go back to this. And it says, wait, wait, don't make a huge mistake. Now, this bit here I can use. Now, there's a clever tool which you can use, which is called Snipping Tool, which is on Windows. And all you do is you go down here and you just type in SN. And it will, if you've got it installed, it will bring up the Snipping Tool. And then what you do is you click on New. And then you just drag this across like that. Left mouse click. Take that off. And I can now borrow that. So save as. And then I'm going to put wait, wait. And save that. Okay, guys. And then I'm going to go back into my um, cheetah. Okay. And then <clears throat> I'm going to put a image. So what I do now is I click on here again. Click on there again. And then I scroll up. And then what I want to do is I want to hit add. And then I want to hit see this bit here is elements. And then I'm just going to look through for my image. So you've got video. You can see video. And any in here will be image. See that image? So we're going to click on that. And then I'm going to grab this image here. And I'm going to drag that across. And I'm going to let that go. And then I'm going to move that about, about there. And then I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on that. And now I'm going to upload my image. So I click on general settings, change image. And then my image is in here, right? Because I've got to upload it. This is the one which I've just copied. So what I'm going to do is I click on select file. And then Windows has got a great update, which is called quick access. So anything that you've just last done, it automatically remembers. So if we click on quick access, you'll see directly below there is wait, wait. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to open that. It's going to upload. Now remember, um, a lot of things have a certain limitation. You see here, look, you can upload any image, JPEG, PNG, or GIF format, maximum images size of 4 megabyte, okay? So I hope this is a JPEG format. So I'm going to click on there, save. And you can see instantly, I've got my thing, which I want here, guys, okay? Now I can make it a bit bigger. Or what I'd probably do is where where it's in line with that i'm going to put it in line with there as well and then what that's going to do is that's just going to make it a little bit more eye-catching so so now we've got how to 10 times your income in 48 hours on autopilot wait 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 don't make a huge mistake so it's creating a bit of scarcity now now's a good time just to save because if you use build roll save and save again okay so i'm going to click on save just to be on the safe side and i'm now going to put that's fine and what it's going to do is it's just going to go through a process of saving it and then if i go to website and then it will reopen it and this is what it's going to look like so this is what it looks like 
um, which it will be presented. Okay, so we've got nothing on there at the moment. I've got nothing else to add. I'm just showing you what it's going to look like. So we're now going to scroll this down. I'm going to go and close this. And now I'm back into my editorial part. Okay, so what we're going to add into next is let's go back and see what we've got. So we've got this screen here. So uh, we will not, how are we going to get rid of this bit here? Okay, so we're going to click on this. And then it says how ordinary people are manipulating this secret algorithm. So I could grab this if I want. So I can use my snipping tool again. I can click new and I can grab that. See how cool and powerful this is. And then I can save it. And I'm going to put secret. It's just so I can remember it. 34 just in case I've already done that one. And then I'm going to scroll back down. And then I'm going to go back into my cheetah. And then I'm going to click on here. So And then click on there. And what it's doing is it's just showing me that I'm in this area. That's where I want to put my image. Then I'm going to click on add. Then I'm going to click on elements. Then I'm going to click on my image and pull that across. And I'm going to just position it like that because it really doesn't matter where it is, providing it's not over something. Otherwise, that can cause complications. So I'm going to click on that button again, click on there, and I'm now going to click on general settings and change image. And now you'll see that I haven't uploaded that what I want. So I'm going to click on there again. Remember the tool I said to you about with quick access? And we're going to click on there, and now I'm going to hit open. And then I'm going to click on there, and then I'm going to save. And there we have it. That's my next one. So we're going to put that in line there. I'm just going to open this up a bit like that. So we've got a nice catchy how ordinary people are manipulating the secret algorithm. So, so we've got a nice catchy landing page. All right. Now, obviously, with a landing page, we need a button. OK, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause this for a few seconds. Okay, guys, so I think we'll do this as part one, all right? So basically, this is how we've got our shell, okay? So we've created a nice caption. I've showed you a few tricks of what you can do about actually making something stand out. So we're going to end this, and then we're going to go into part two.